Hey y'all, welcome to Castle Hives. Brian here. We are in the apiary. I am doing some major improvements here today. So watch this video, see what I got going on today. All right, hey y'all. So you're probably wondering, I got my Apame 7 Framer, okay? Got Swarm Trap here, okay? So, I didn't have a GoPro with me. I was the only person there. Um, the Farmer's Hive, and I'll throw a little video here. I had a quick little thing that I did on my phone. You know, I always have that, but uh, the Farmer's Hive swarmed, okay? Uh, farmer guy, you know, Mark, he called me up and he's like, uh, Ryan, I think we got a problem. I said, what's that? He said, all your bees are up in the tree. Well, I went over and here they had swarmed. They were up about 10 feet. Um, I shook them into, you know, this box. And then I noticed that they were clumping over on a branch. And I went over and looked. I found the queen with a little white dot on her. So I got her in this box. I propped this up on the tree. Um, just left it then and they all started going in and about two hours later uh, I went back and they were all in this, you know, nice activity going in and out. I moved it in the in the dark though. I went back over, closed up the entrance and uh, here it is, moved it over here. So the bees split themselves for me. Lucky I caught it though. Um, probably four or five pounds worth of bees. It was a pretty decent sized uh, swarm. So, but first one in Northeast Ohio that I've seen, I've seen a lot of people saying, you know, asking in, in the blogs and all that in the groups, you know, anybody see a swarm? I saw a swarm and I caught it. So somebody said, well, it doesn't count if it's your own. It was in a tree. So, you know, but, uh, and what I got going on also is you'll notice there's no big stand here. I took the big stand out. Each hive here is getting paver blocks. Um, they're getting their own stand and then to secure this in I've got metal stakes that I secured on and screwed it to the stand so on the one side so they're gonna be super super secure um, but you know that's the update I'm doing here today I'm gonna check the ones in the back there if I see cells they're getting split um, but each colony each hive is gonna get its own stand. You know, I'm gonna be able to come in, apologize for that truck there. I'm gonna be able to come in and work all of my hives now from either side, the back. So uh, major improvements going in the apiary today. So um, let's get this stuff going. I wanna to get to the back stand and, and check those uh, and see what's going on back there. So let's get back to the bee castle. All right, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the bee castle here. Um, if you are wondering, this jacket that I have, Guardian Bee Apparel, look at this thing. I love this. Unzip this, take a sip. You want to get going? Look at this. Boom. I'm ready. So let's get into Bee Castle and see what they show us. Let's give them some smoke. Now, since I'm checking for cells, what I'm probably going to do is just pop this top off, give them a little puff of smoke, chill them out, and then I'm just going to separate these boxes, crack them, and then see if I can see anything. Oh boy. All right, got some larvae on there. I'm looking on here just to see if I can spot my queen, and I do not see her. So I'll have to clean that up there. Now, what I'm gonna look for also here is typically what I do when I split out larvae like that is I will look just to see if I spot Varroa. There we go. Don't see any Varroa on there. All right, now I can see good drone brood on there. Bees edge to edge on here. So what I'm gonna do now is just simply crack these boxes and just look for cells. If I see cells, I'll have to look and see which frames and then they're gonna get split. All right, so you all see the front of that box there. Now, 
here is the back side, and this is what I'm looking for, okay? When you can see in here, you can see right there is a cup. Right there is a cup, okay? Uh, I do not see any cells protruding down, okay? Here is larvae there. Now oh, that one dropped down in, okay? But I'm looking for cups, all right? And I do not see any just yet, okay? We can see a good amount of bees here, drone brood on here, okay? Good amount of bees on there. So I'm going to put this box back down and go ahead and just inspect a couple frames here and see what I can see as far as brood-wise. Nice, beautiful box of bees. Look at that beautiful box of bees. Nice frame there. Now, what I'm going to do now is get out my Castle Hives frame holders. All right, I got an egg down there. Drones on there. Good deal. Good deal. I'm looking on here also to see. Yep, I got eggs down around the bottom there. Good sign, good sign, good sign. So, improvements to the channel also. Um, I just recently got a uh, GoPro 10. Um, so, we'll see how video quality and that is on there. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Eggs all throughout here. Uh, good. Oh, look at that frame right there. Look at that beautiful frame right there. Nice. Good job. Look at that. Another beautiful frame right there. All stages of larvae, or all stages of brood, I should say. Wet larvae in there. Drone. My plan is this, okay? I did not expect that farmer's hive to swarm like it did, okay? My plan this weekend was come over, do an inspection on these. Oh, look at that nice drone comb down there. Drone brood. I might give this another day or two, okay? Maybe I'll come back on Monday, check and see the development, all right? And then I can pull some splits, okay? Um, I just want to make sure that, you know, they have uh, more than one queen cell. If you all are wondering about these frame holders here, uh, they're on my Etsy store. So these work out excellent just because they have that extra shim there, so it really stabilizes uh, the frames on there. So. I'm not bothering this one anymore, okay? I'm um, putting it back. I only saw one. So, not enough for me to, uh, you know, I'm not going to split that just yet. I'm going to give it a couple more days and come back. Um, today is Saturday. We'll probably be looking at, um, here, let me get this on. I will probably be looking at, uh, Monday or Tuesday, depending on the weather. And uh, this colony here, um, if I see some cells starting, it's gonna get split, so. Um All right, y'all. So we got, look at here. Each of those hives now has its own little stand. Uh, good activity on them. I got pavers down. And then what I ended up doing here, let's just come around over here so I can show you, is I got a 
metal pole, pounded that thing down about two feet in the ground, and then have that secured. So this stand, look at that, pretty solid. So I'm gonna leave this gap in here in between B Castle and B Box, um, just so that, you know, I have space to mow, space to work, things like that. If I need to add another, you know, um, pad, I can always do it up front. So, but so far things with these hives here, I'm uh, real happy with where they're at right now. So a couple more days, I think I'll end up pulling splits off of these two. Um, things are looking good. So that is the update. The farm hive, I'm not bothering it just because, you know, of the situation out there. But uh, these here are looking good. So a um, little treat, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna get uh, the swarm catch into the little nuke box. So. But that's gonna be an upcoming video, so y'all gotta watch for that video. Um, probably be in another day or two. But, uh, whew, it's hot, y'all. It's like 80 degrees now in Ohio, so our weather is just crazy. But uh, y'all take care, I appreciate you watching. Uh, keep following along, because exciting things are gonna be happening here, so. It's beekeeping, y'all. Take care.